Okay, so the star topology is the next one that we're going to have a look at. And the star topology is a, um, a topology where all devices are connected to a central switch or a hub, and all data is sent through the central point and then onto a, um, onto a device. So again, let's say we've got computers A, B, C, D, and E. Some of the advantages of a star topology is that it's much more robust. If computer D um, has its cable broken, computers A, B, C, and E will still be able to work, absolutely no problem at all. It provides good performance because you've got different cables for different computers, um, which allows us to have a situation where we can share the load of the data. Um, I'm going to talk more about the difference between a hub and a switch in just a moment, but um, uh, we can have a situation where our network runs really efficiently. It's much easier to expand because these uh, switches and hubs often have several sockets on them maybe up to 64 at a time and you can stack them and add more and more so you are very easily able to just get a cable plug a computer in at both ends and off it goes and it's up and running um, you do need a large amount of cable which adds to the expense of the overall um, of the overall network and it is all reliant on one central device which is this idea of the hub or the switch which can um, be a bit problematic if the hub or switch were to suffer a malfunction now the hub and the switch the thing to know about this is that the network works really well as long as you're really using a, really using a switch. Because let's say I'm computer A and I want to communicate with computer D. If I were to go into a hub, what happens is the hub is a not very intelligent device and it just sends the data to all the respective clients on the network. Now the problem with that is, is that I'm sending three extra four times four extra amounts of data that I don't need to send around this network when really I just want to communicate with D. The security concerns as well is that I don't really want B, C and E seeing my data. So a switch is a more intelligent version of a hub in that what it will do is it goes, it takes the data from computer A and realizes that it just needs to send it to computer D and no one else. Nice thing about that is security is obviously maintained and you have a situation where you are limiting the amount of data traffic that's being put through the network. So in summary, it's a, uh, it's a much better type of network than some of the other ones that we've seen before in the form of like uh, ring, and, uh, ring and bus topologies. Um, really is reliant on having a good quality switch though.